that is right, you know, transcends across the three East African states. So by virtue of its location, I want to think that it can play a pivotal role, you know, in linking up the business across the East African community. Poa poa poa, mimi na festival ni kitu ambaye na na mwanisho wa tuwengi sana. I come from Congo, DRC, et puis je parle aussi français. On est là pour soutenir et puis et faire des fiertés de la musique Kenya entière. Et puis je suis très content. Je m'appelle Bebe Kiro, l'artiste musicien qui est venu à l'est de la République du Kenya. Et puis même festival, on est là ensemble. Talk about the Kisumu tradition and the warmth of Kisumu. Na m festival ina taka kufundi shawa tu juu ya farming na pia ku keep Lake Victoria poa ju vijana wanaweza pata job kwa hiyo lake you know this all this thing about Kisumu always being a sleepy town but i think it's going to be one of the powerhouses through such kind of platforms and actually influence a vibrant economy around local tourism 2016 shows us that Nam festival is maturing as a major movement compared to the feedback we received after the pilot in 2013. From its humble beginnings of just a musical stage on the table of Lake Victoria, to getting involved with issues of social justice and environmental degradation, people are waking up to the fact that Lake Victoria is the sleeping giant we've been shouting about, otherwise known as Nam Lolue, Na Lubale, and Nyanza in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania respectively. I think the festival provides uh, in my view a powerful tool uh, not just cultural but also educational uh, because uh, the waters as I say is not for this generation for the next generation and therefore uh, people uniting around uh, the festival uh, artists uh, 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 people with educational background so all the cross section uh, uh, of people uh, who are going to attend the festival or are going to promote the festival will help because I think it is really uh, a powerful tool to write to unite uh, around 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 this theme and I think also the photographic uh, exhibition uh, justice for Lake Victoria carries uh, a good message uh, that uh, we it deserve uh, to be treated uh, with respect and with justice so that uh, it can be a common uh, heritage. So we have a collective responsibility, I think, for its protection. Uh, all of us uh, share that responsibility. If you don't engage the youth effectively in whatever you want to do and uh, give them gainful employment, of course, there's bound to be uh, crime. Papa. Inid Mudoni, IDLO country director, commented, the IDLO has supported the Justice for Lake Victoria Environmental and Social Forum with the hope that their activities will help to generate consensus among the different actors on collaborative action towards restoring the lake and the dignity of the people who rely on it for their livelihoods. During the Justice for Lake Victoria exhibition, Yorokamu Bamwine, the principal judge the High Court of Uganda, commended the NAM Festival, a cultural platform that seeks to inspire a community-driven campaign for sustainable stewardship of East Africa's most unifying symbol and Africa's greatest 
Freshwater Body, Lake Victoria. On behalf of the Ugandan judiciary, he pledged the full support in defending and protecting this invaluable natural resource, Lake Victoria. This year, NAM Festival decided to use the Justice for Lake Victoria photo exhibition to be able to highlight the lives of those who share and utilize the waters of Lake Victoria on a day-to-day -day basis from Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania through the lens of Amunga Ishuchi, Esther Mbabazi and Salome Gregory. Well, justice for Lake Victoria is justice for all of us who live by the lake. Um, the lake by itself uh, is not justice, but it is what it means to the people of East Africa. Uh, Naruvale is the local name among the Waganda community that is given to what is now called Lake Victoria. And uh, it is associated with a goddess um, to whom the source of the lake or the management of the lake is, uh, is, uh, is owed. So it's a very, and that I think is because of the great importance of the lake to the Waganda community who live around the, the lake. Narvale is a, an ecosystem of its own and uh, the, the people who live around this lake in uh, this part of Uganda uh, derive a living in terms of fishing, in terms of water for their use, in terms of transport, people who live in islands and then people who, who commute to other areas from Jinja, Masaka and so on. But most importantly, it's an ecosystem, it's a climate zone of its own. Um, in uh, the, the area is called, uh, in geography is called the Lake Shore, uh, Lake Shore climatic region, or Lake Shore country as they, they used to call it. And uh, Whereas you have got in other areas a, a rain pattern of long rains, short rains, and so on, but in the lake shore country, because of the convection of rain arising out of the influence of the lake, you sometimes will get a, a huge downpour even in the middle of a, a rainy season as a result of the effect of the lake. So it is very, very important in terms for agriculture, for livelihoods of the people, and so on. There have been reports that the National Water and Sewerage Corporation has had to extend the pipeline, the source of picking the water for, for supply to Kampala, further, deeper into the lake at very high cost. And uh, so if this continues unchecked, you can even see there's national implications for, for the economy. If you have people depending for their livelihoods on the lake and the lake gets abused, with the resultant uh, loss of livelihoods or affection of what they do, then it is possible that you will see people uh, resorting to, to legal action in terms of uh, uh, trying to recover their lost livelihood. Save Lake Victoria for ourselves and our generations to come. Apart from being uh, the largest uh, freshwater lake uh, in East Africa, it doesn't only serve uh, the people who live around Lake Victoria uh, because the waters of Lake Victoria for example in Tanzania are used up to Sinyanga okay so it's also uh, useful uh, for people living afar from the lake so there's interest for everybody to protect uh, the waters of Lake uh, Victoria and uh, in so far as uh, uh, the, the preservation of, 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 of the water of Lake Victoria, uh, I can say in terms of, of the court's role and uh, what we are doing, uh, one of the areas is in relation to dynamite fishing, uh, which is a threat, not only a health threat for people uh, who do the dynamite fishing, but there is also uh, an environmental threat, there is also a security threat. And the courts in Tanzania, in collaboration with the police, uh, the law enforcement agencies, uh, have taken this very seriously uh, in terms of uh, uh, apprehending and prosecuting 
those who are responsible. Lake Victoria cannot speak for itself, so we have to speak and advocate for it. Change is more possible when communities take up their role in empowering institutions and holding them accountable to community standards.